is up YouTube back with another banger today I'm be explaining everything that's happening in NBA 2k21 the shooting new badges new everything so before we start the video make sure you guys hit that like and sub button and 2k21 is coming out the demo is on 824 that is August 24th in honor of Kobe and this is going to be a very informative video, and we have a lot of leaks for 2K21. So now, let's get right into this banger, you guys. So for the first thing I'm going to be talking about, is who's going to be on the cover athletes for NBA 2K21 in the next gen. So for the cover athlete, it's going to be Damian Lillard. You guys probably all know that. It's came out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media platforms. And the next generation person who's going to be on the cover is going to be Zion Williamson. So this is going to be on PS5 and Xbox X. And... For Legends Edition, of course, it's going to be Kobe in honor of him. And yes, this is going to be our first information. We know the new cover athlete. This came out in July, I think. So for the next thing we're going to be talking about is, this is a big thing everyone always wanted, but everyone knows this now, is we all wanted new parks and affiliations, like when it had it in NBA 2K20, I mean, I mean 2K17. And yes, we're going to get that. We're going to have new parks. And we're going to have affiliations. They've made it clear that there's going to be some type of beach town. There's going to be some type of old country. There's going to be some type of affiliations. And yes, this is our second leak. We're going to have a new park. Yay. So now, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is... so. My player, what's it going to be like? Badges, are they going to be the same? Are they going to be different? And are you going to have the same takeovers? Are the builds going to be the same? And to answer of all of that is look at this tweet. No. And Pogo Stick is going to be still in the game, but it's going to be nerfed. Quick Troll is not going to be in the game anymore. That's another thing. I do not have that tweet, but it's not going to be in the game anymore. Intimidator is also going to be nerfed a bit. And there are going to be brand new badges. Brand new takeovers, brand new dribble move mechanics. It's not going to be fully brand new, but it's going to be partly brand new. And finally, there's going to be a brand new build system. So if you're a guard, you can be maximum height 6'8". So now pretty much everyone's going to be a giant. That's kind of crazy that you can have a guard who's going to be a 6'8". Imagine you're having... A 75 three-pointer and you're coming up and just greening every time with a 6-8 guard and you have a 6-3 person on you I don't really like this that much because well it's kind of overpowered first of all and then now guards can guard post scores which I do like because I hate toxic post scores so that was one of the biggest news so far and now going to the biggest news and this is gonna be talked about most of the video is gonna be the jump shot so there's going to be same jump shot, there's going to be a meter, there's going to be no meter, and then there's going to be this pro stick. This pro stick, you're going to have to, it's really complicated in my opinion, but you're going to have to aim with it into the basket, time your jump shot like you do in NBA 2K20, and then you'll agree it. So this is going to be like pretty much cracked in the game. But it's going to be really hard. So, like, this year there was no meter was really good. And it will give you a boost. It's still going to give you a boost, no meter. But for the pro aim stick, you're going to have to use meter. This might be a little complicated, but I'll show you guys a couple of tweets that's explaining. For the pro meter, you're, you're not going to have to use it for, like, wide, wide open layups. But you see that it's capitalized there. It says wide so that means if you're one percent covered then you're gonna have to use the pro meter that's gonna be really complicated in my opinion because you're gonna have to be use all this like science stuff i'm not really understanding but maybe when you get to the game it's gonna be a little easier also 
So in NBA 2K20, if you have a 53 pointer, you can green easily, but in 2K21, if you're having a 53 pointer, it's not gonna be impossible to make a shot, but it's gonna be really hard. And if you wanna shoot consistently, then you're gonna have to have at least a 70 to 75 three pointer. And if you have a 99 three pointer, you're gonna be making 80% of your shots. See this tweet here? That is amazing. How is that possible? That's my next thing. Like, how? There's a big difference. So, pure shooters are going to be really good in this mode. And they're also saying that in next gen, that there's going to be a new features. So, you're going to have some new features you guys might be able to use. But I don't think there's going to be any new game modes. There probably will be new events. There hasn't been any leaks on that yet. And yeah. Now let's get into another leak. If you're still watching the video, our next leak is for Jump Shot Creator, you're not gonna have to do any of that my career stuff. You get Jump Shot Creator right off the rip. Look at this tweet right here. Right off the rip. And you're gonna might even have to have a meter above your head. You guys have seen this in a lot of videos and you guys may look, think it's bad, but Mike Wang has done a good job of clearing this stuff up. And yeah, so you're not you you can use jump shot creator whenever you want. You can get it even if you're a rookie or a pro. Plus, you're not gonna need many backpacks. You're not gonna have backpacks. I think you're gonna get backpacks right earlier. And this is a leak, and it might happen that you're gonna have you're gonna get girl my players really at superstar one. I think this is gonna be really good. So now moving on to the next leaks if you haven't make sure to hit that like and sub button before we get to the next tweet as i was saying defensive builds are not going to be able to shoot that much anymore so if you're going to want to be a really good shooter and make most of your shots you're going to be a pure shop pure sharp as i was saying and the dunking will be the same as 2k20 which is good layups will be way different and as this tweet here says that pro stick as i was saying was going to give you a way bigger advantage I don't understand why it's going to give you a way bigger advantage, but it is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be making a part two on this. I like to keep my video short so you guys get the shortest information for the shortest time possible. But make sure to hit that like and sub button. GMoney23 is out. Peace.